Crocodiles, known for their predatory nature, are considered potentially dangerous creatures. However, history has witnessed several exceptionally dangerous crocodiles that have wreaked havoc and terrorized both humans and animals. From holding entire islands at bay to being notorious serial killers, these crocodiles have left a lasting impact on the collective memory. In this video, we'll explore some of the most dangerous crocodiles in the world, delving into their chilling stories and sharing intriguing facts about them. The Battle of Ramri Island Ramri Island, located in Myanmar, formerly known as Burma, witnessed one of the most terrifying encounters with crocodiles in history. During World War II in early 1945, the Battle of Ramri Island took place between the British and Japanese forces. However, it was not the battle itself that gained infamy, but the aftermath. As the Japanese forces retreated, they had to cross the swamps of Ramri Island. Little did they know that these swamps were teeming with saltwater crocodiles, the largest reptiles and land predators on the planet. The crocodiles, driven by their predatory instincts, attacked the stranded Japanese soldiers without hesitation. The result was a horrifying massacre, with an estimated 1,215 Japanese soldiers being killed and eaten by the crocodiles as they attempted to traverse the treacherous swamps. This crocodile attack on Ramri Island holds the dubious distinction of being recognized by the Guinness Book of World Records as the highest number of fatalities in an animal attack. The crocodile's reign of terror continued for an extended period, terrorizing the entire island and instilling fear in its inhabitants. Even to this day, saltwater crocodiles inhabit the waters surrounding Ramri Island, serving as a chilling reminder of the island's dark history. Gustav the Man-Eater Among the most notorious man-eating crocodiles is Gustav, a male Nile crocodile born in 1955. While crocodiles typically prey on fish and antelope, Gustav grew to an enormous size and started targeting slower and larger animals such as buffalo and hippos. Shockingly, Gustav developed a taste for human flesh and is estimated to have consumed at least 300 people. Multiple attempts to capture and kill Gustav have failed, as he's proven elusive and possesses abnormally thick skin that repels bullets and explosives. Gustav's seemingly unkillable and powerful nature has bestowed upon him a near-mythical status, leaving many wondering if he'll ever be brought down. Bujang, the Malaysian Nightmare Bujang, a two-toned saltwater crocodile measuring around 20 feet in length, haunted the people of Malaysia for decades. Responsible for the deaths of at least 13 individuals, Bujang became a significant problem for the locals. Numerous efforts were made to capture and neutralize the crocodile, including harpooning and explosive attempts, but they all proved futile. It took the combined efforts of two squads armed with high-powered rifles to finally bring down Bujang. Today, the skeleton of this giant crocodile is preserved in a museum, serving as a reminder of the fear it once instilled in the Malaysian population. Two-Toed Tom, the Alligator Demon in the 1920s, Alabama and Florida faced the terror of Two-Toed Tom, a massive American alligator. Infamous for devouring livestock and allegedly even humans, Two-Toed Tom proved incredibly resilient to traditional attempts to kill him. Despite multiple gunshots and even dynamite explosions, this alligator survived and continued to menace the local population. While Two-Toed Tom eventually ceased his attacks, sightings of a two-toed alligator in the same area have sparked speculation that he may have lived on, evading capture. Lo Long, the Giant of the Philippines Lo Long, a crocodile measuring over 20 feet in length, struck fear into the hearts of Filipinos. Although there is limited evidence to confirm whether he was a man-eater, Lo Long's attacks on water buffalo and other animals in large numbers posed a significant threat. After a complex capture operation involving over a hundred people, Lo Long was finally subdued and transferred to a crocodile center. He gained international recognition as the world's largest crocodile in captivity, but sadly passed away in 2014. Today, his remains are displayed in a museum, a testament to his immense size and notoriety. Crocodiles of the Nile River The Nile River, known for its abundance of wildlife, is home to a significant population of crocodiles. Among them, several individuals have gained notoriety for their dangerous behavior. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, a series of attacks by Nile crocodiles terrorized communities living near the riverbanks. One infamous crocodile, known as Number One, 
was responsible for an estimated 300 human fatalities in the Tanganyika region. Another notorious crocodile named Osama was known for attacking boats and capsizing them, leading to tragic drownings. These incidents highlight the constant danger faced by those living in close proximity to these formidable reptiles. Cassius, the Australian legend. In Australia, Cassius, also known as Salty, gained a reputation as one of the largest and most dangerous crocodiles in the world. Measuring over 17 feet in length and weighing more than a ton, Cassius roamed the rivers of the Northern Territory, striking fear into the hearts of locals and tourists alike. With a history of aggressive behavior and territoriality, Cassius was responsible for numerous close encounters with humans, prompting authorities to issue warnings and enforce strict safety measures. Despite his menacing presence, Cassius also became a symbol of conservation efforts, emphasizing the need to protect and preserve these apex predators. Crocodile Attacks in Africa Africa has seen its share of devastating crocodile attacks. In regions such as Lake Victoria and the Zambezi River, crocodiles have targeted fishermen, unsuspecting swimmers, and even individuals bathing on the riverbanks. In Lake Tanganyika, multiple incidents involving crocodile attacks have occurred, prompting local communities to adopt cautious approaches to water-related activities. The crocodiles in these areas have developed a taste for human flesh, leading to fatal encounters and widespread fear. Efforts to mitigate the risks include education campaigns, improved surveillance, and relocation programs to minimize human-crocodile conflicts. The Crocodile of Nuwara Ilia, Sri Lanka In the late 1920s, the peaceful town of Nuwara Ilia in Sri Lanka was gripped by fear when a large crocodile appeared in the nearby Lake Gregory. This crocodile, estimated to be over 20 feet in length, began attacking and killing local residents and animals. Panic spread throughout the community, and people became afraid to venture near the lake. Despite numerous attempts to capture or kill the crocodile, it eluded all efforts, evoking a sense of dread among the townsfolk. The presence of this terrifying creature disrupted daily life and led to a decline in tourism and economic activities in the area. It wasn't until several years later that the crocodile mysteriously disappeared, relieving the town of its haunting presence. Man-Eating Crocodiles of Papua New Guinea Papua New Guinea has a notorious reputation for its man-eating crocodiles, which have struck fear into entire villages and communities. In areas such as the Sepik River and the Fly River, large saltwater crocodiles lurk in the waters, posing a constant threat to the local population. These crocodiles, some exceeding 20 feet in length, have been responsible for numerous attacks on humans, resulting in injuries and fatalities. The mere presence of these apex predators has forced communities to modify their daily activities and adopt precautions when navigating the waterways. These man-eating crocodiles have had a profound impact on the social and cultural fabric of the affected communities. Fear and respect of these reptiles have become deeply ingrained in local folklore, shaping traditions and practices. People have developed rituals and ceremonies to appease the crocodiles, seeking protection from their wrath. The fear of crocodile attacks has also influenced the construction of houses and the design of fishing boats, with elevated platforms and protective measures implemented to reduce the risk of encounters. Efforts to mitigate the conflict between humans and crocodiles in Papua New Guinea have been ongoing. Conservation organizations, along with local authorities, have implemented programs to educate communities about crocodile behavior and safety measures. Initiatives such as community-based conservation, habitat protection, and the establishment of crocodile sanctuaries aim to foster coexistence between humans and these fearsome reptiles. The Gomek Crocodile, Papua New Guinea Gomek, a massive saltwater crocodile, captured the attention of the world and struck fear into the hearts of those who encountered him in Papua New Guinea. With a length of over 17 feet and a weight of around 2,000 pounds, Gomek was one of the largest crocodiles ever recorded. His size and reputation as a cunning predator made him a legend in the region. Gomek's story began when he was captured in 1985 by crocodile hunter and conservationist Tom Owen. Rather than being killed, Gomek was transported to the United States, where he became a popular attraction at the St. Augustine Alligator Farm Zoological Park in Florida. The massive crocodile drew crowds of spectators simultaneously fascinated and terrified by his sheer size and potential danger. 
Gomek's presence at the alligator farm showcased the immense power and ferocity of saltwater crocodiles, cementing their reputation as apex predators. His intimidating demeanor and the stories surrounding his capture instilled a sense of fear and awe among visitors. Despite living in captivity, Gomek's wild nature remained evident. He would often exhibit aggressive behavior, lunging at visitors and demonstrating his strength through powerful jaw snaps. While safety measures were in place to protect spectators, the sheer force and size of Gomek were a constant reminder of the formidable nature of crocodiles. Gomek's death in 1997 marked the end of an era, but his legacy lives on as a testament to the immense size and power of saltwater crocodiles. His story serves as a reminder of the potential danger these creatures pose in their natural habitats and the importance of respecting their space. The Burrenjaw of Australia Deep within the folklore of Australia lies the legend of the Burrenjaw, a creature believed to be a giant reptile resembling a mix of a crocodile and a dinosaur. The Burrenjaw is said to inhabit the remote wilderness of the Australian outback, particularly in the Northern Territory. Its immense size and reputation as a fearsome predator have struck fear into the hearts of locals and adventurers alike. Described as reaching lengths of up to 30 feet or more, the Burrenjaw is said to possess powerful jaws lined with sharp teeth capable of taking down large prey. Witnesses have reported sightings of this creature in various locations, often near bodies of water such as rivers and billabongs. Its ability to move swiftly on both land and water adds to the air of danger surrounding the Burrenjaw. Stories of encounters with the Burrenjaw have been passed down through generations, with indigenous Australians sharing tales of their interactions with this legendary creature. Many believe it to be a spiritual being, a guardian of the land with a strong connection to Aboriginal culture. However, the notion of a physical flesh and blood creature roaming the Australian wilderness persists in the minds of those who've heard these stories. Despite numerous expeditions and attempts to capture evidence of the Burrenjaw, no exclusive scientific proof has been obtained. The creature remains elusive, adding to its mystique and the ongoing debate about its existence. Skeptics dismiss the Burrenjaw as a product of folklore and imagination, while believers continue to search for clues and encounters that validate its existence. These stories serve as a reminder of the formidable power and unpredictability of these apex predators. While there are instances where crocodiles have been successfully captured and relocated, their potential danger should never be underestimated. The tales of these dangerous crocodiles stand as a testament to the awe-inspiring nature of the animal kingdom and the need for caution and respect when encountering these magnificent creatures.